Hello, I am Joshua P. Warren, and this is Joshua P. Warren Daily. And part of this podcast is going to have limited potency. And that's because that I am right now officially announcing the beginning of a seven-day window that you have to purchase the true Golden Ratio Antenna Pendant. And I will explain to you what that means. So in that regard, this podcast is partially a commercial. However, the rest of it is extremely interesting educational content. So even if you're not interested in buying this thing that I'm making available for the next seven days, uh, then you'll still enjoy the information that I'm about to give you. And I've thought for a while about how to make this as simple as possible because maybe you've heard about the golden ratio or the golden ratio antenna and you're like, well, you don't know what it means. I'm going to break this right down for you. And if you listen carefully, you might even be able to look around and see the entire world around you with a brand new set of eyes. I'm absolutely serious. So I, for 20 years have wanted to create this gold pendant that I have available now and and basically I, I made it for myself it's it's not just a, any old pendant though again I'll, I'll tell you everything I made it for myself I had one especially uniquely made just for me and I was so happy so thrilled with the results that I said you know what I have all these people who listen to this show all over the world and a lot of them are hardcore experimenters and enthusiasts and I need to give them a shot also to get one of these things and see what I've been experiencing. So that's why over the next seven days I'm going to take orders and then at that point uh, the web page is going to disappear and I'm just going to I'm going to have these manufactured and sent to those people and that'll be that. Okay so this is a one-time situation. Here is the best way I can sort of describe what this is all about. It really starts with the concept of sacred geometry. And I know that sounds really woo-woo and out there, but it's not at all. Sacred geometry has to do with the fact that physical shapes are able to manipulate energy in very realistic ways. For example, I talked about how that last year my mom and dad were at their house with my sister and her boyfriend and uh, they're just sort of hanging out in the living room and at one point my sister's boyfriend said hey something's smoking over there and they looked and they saw this nice little persistent stream of smoke rising up off of the wooden table in the middle of the of the living room and my parents are not smokers this is in the afternoon this was in broad daylight and they're like what the hell and it turns out that my sister who often goes to thrifts thrifts shops and uh, flea markets and stuff like that and buys unusual things and then sells them on ebay and whatnot my sister had purchased a crystal ball and she had that crystal ball sitting there on the table in the living room and at that time of day i think it was around 2 30 to 3 p.m just so happened that the sun was shining through the window and hit that crystal ball and it acted like a magnifying glass and created a nice little hot bead and it started burning a hole in the table (laughs) now thank god they were home because otherwise the house surely would have burned down and 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 i'm sure that the uh the, the firemen would have had a heck of a time determining what the cause of this fire was how often does that sort of thing happen and we don't even know about it right but the point is it was that shape that shape of the the crystal ball that did that also the shape of something parabolic you know like a an inwardly curved 
mirror or piece of glass can do the same thing and focus energy and create something so intense that you have actual fire it's about the way these things are shaped now if they were shaped in other ways you know you wouldn't have that effect i mean glass ha ha was around for thousands of years before somebody figured out how to take it and shape it into a lens so that oh, miraculously once it's shaped properly into a lens new worlds emerge now you can see microorganisms that were before invisible now you can see planets and stars and all these things that before uh, were practically invisible you couldn't see them with this level of detail it's all about how you shape things that sphere shape is especially important uh, just today i received another van de graaff generator and uh yeah you know I'm, a, I'm an electrostatics geek and a van de graaff generator is one of those that you often see in school demonstrations it has a big sort of silver dome on top of a plastic stand and you know people put their hair on top of it and it makes their hair stand up you've seen that we've all seen that that's called a Van de Graaff electrostatic generator. The reason that those Van de Graaff machines work, the reason they build up a charge, is simply because of the shape of the metal on top being circular or dome-like. Because circular and dome-like things, they build up electro, well, they build up energy in general, but especially electrical charge. They build it up and they store it until it becomes really big and then boom it discharges and you get you know a lightning bolt unless somebody's sticking their hands on it and then it discharges through the human body now the funny thing is if you have a dome or a, a, a sphere like on top of a van de graaff machine that builds up that charge that holds it just because of its shape you can put a needle on top of it and guess what? Now it will no longer build up a charge. Instead, the charge flows through the needle and sprays off the sharp tip of the needle because the needle shape allows electricity to flow. It won't build up anymore. This is what Benjamin Franklin learned when he invented the lightning rod. You know, people, in the 1700s, you know, they had their houses being struck by lightning, their barns, it would burn everything down. He realized if you put basically a big ass needle on top of your house or your barn, if lightning hits, it's going to actually be more easily discharged through the needle shape and a cord that will take it down into the ground. And what is a needle? Well, a needle is kind of like a, a horn, isn't it? It's got a little narrow end on one end, and then it has a wider end on the other. It's like a big, long, cylindrical horn shape. And what can you do with a horn shape? If you take a pipe and you blow through it, you might get a little sound out of it, nothing impressive. But if you narrow one end of it, and you leave the other end open and bigger, now you blow through it and guess what? You have a horn and you can create all of these impressive sounds because it manipulates vibrations and it can take small vibrations and magnify them or it can take big vibrations and condense them down into something smaller, which is why when Thomas, and Edi Thomas Edison invented the phonograph, what did he have there? He had a big old horn basically and that is how you would record if you wanted to record some type of a, a symphony or a singer that person would sing into the big end of the horn and the vibration would be condensed down into a little needle that would carve a groove or you could do the reverse of that and take that groove and run it back and the needle on the small end would pick up that vibration and then magnify it out the big end of the horn and now we can hear the sound. I can keep going on and on with these examples of how that shapes affect things. I mean look at a pyramid. What is a pyramid? A pyramid is just another form of a horn, right? Because it has a, a big end and a small end. 
whenever you have an object that has a big end and a small end, then it is going to automatically transduce vibration, whether it's mechanical or electromagnetic. It's going to change it and transduce it from one type of frequency and wavelength to another. So we have all these examples. And again, I, I could keep on and keep on going, trust me. All these examples of how that shapes affect energy physically. And you take a lot of it for granted because you're not thinking about it that way. This is what we call sacred geometry. And if you look all throughout the universe, there are certain designs that just appear over and over again all throughout creation. It, fundamental shapes, basically. And one of them is a spiral, for example. So it's funny, you know, you look out there and you see these gigantic spiral galaxies way out in the cosmos. And then you look here on Earth and what do you see? Little spirals just like that in seashells or the way that water spirals in a creek or in an ocean whenever there's a whirlpool even going down your drain you have spirals for example look at how planets orbit around a sun look at how electrons orbit around the nucleus of an atom you see it's the same type of design except it's a matter of scale that's why people have always talked about you know the adage of as above so below what that means is that it can be giant or it can be tiny from a human reference point, but we're talking about the same designs that are um, consistent throughout the makeup of the physical universe. And what you find is that when you start looking at how the physical universe is assembled and put together, how the energy flows, there is this one sort of ratio that is, it's ever present. It's been called the golden ratio. Now, let me clarify what that means, what a ratio is. If I have, let's say I have an apple in my left hand, and then I pick up a second apple in my right hand, and the two apples are the same size. I can hold them side by side, and because they are the same, I have a ratio of one to one. One to one. Because they're equal. But if I have an apple in my left hand, and I pick up an apple in my right hand that is twice as big, and I hold them side by side, I have a ratio that is one to two because it's twice as big. It's that simple. It doesn't even matter how big the original apple is because we're not really looking at that. We're comparing the size of the original apple to the second apple. If you want to look at this in terms of um, what mathematicians say, a part to part ratio states the proportion of the parts in relation to each other. So the ratio of one to two, like I just described there, is written as one colon two. And that means simply one to two. This thing is twice the size as this thing, or, or of this thing. So that means the of the whole of three, because you have one apple that we'll call number one and then we'll have a second apple which is twice as big we'll call that number two so together what's two plus one three it says this means the whole of three you know of that whole of three there is a part worth one and another part worth two that's what a ratio is it's a relationship between one thing and another 
And all throughout the universe, there is a ratio that pops up all over the place, big and small. And it's not one to one, and it's not one to two. It's in the middle. It's one to 1.618. It's that specific. So in other words, if I have an apple in my left hand, and then I have an apple in my right hand that's twice as big, like I say, that's one to two. But if I have an apple in my left hand, and then I have an apple in my right hand, that's one and a half times that size, it'll be 1.5. One to 1.5. But 1 to 1.618, very specific number. That is the golden ratio. And what we find is that all throughout human history, the golden ratio has been incorporated into art and architecture and design. That ratio is the most pleasing ratio to the human eye. So you have all the great artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo uh, and, and you know you have all these great um, icons of architecture like the Parthenon. They all incorporate this ratio between width and height which always boils down to 1.618. We could just say 1.6. And if I've lost you, I'm sorry, but what you should do is go, go to the internet and, and look at this visually if you're having a problem grasping this. But otherwise, all I'm talking about really is the relationship between width and height and what just seems to be a perfect balance. And that is called the golden ratio. And it seems to be the perfect balance all throughout the universe and to human perception because it creates absolute harmony, right? It is a, for some reason, and, I, you know, and I, I'm not saying why it works this way. You could just say, this was created by God. Okay, you could easily say that. This was created by God. But whatever the explanation this is what it means to call something the golden ratio, also called the golden mean. Now, because of this, radionics practitioners, and of course, wishing machines and, and psychotronics and psionics, all this stuff is, is, is really a part of radionics. Radionics is in part about taking sacred geometry and signs and symbols and incorporating them into your manifestation. Uh, and so therefore, if you take a picture of a person or a picture of anything else and you put it on a, a wishing machine, well, what, what you're doing is you're dealing with a symbol, just like magicians have always done. And if you're not a magician, and let's say, well, you just read the Bible or whatever. Well, great. What do you think the Bible is? The Bible is a collection of symbols, letters, and words. That's what language, written language is. It's symbols, letters, and words. And if I handed you a Bible that was written, you know, a thousand years ago in Greek or whatever, you would look at it and say, this means nothing to me because you don't understand those symbols. So knowledge and information is passed on from mind to mind over the centuries by interpreting symbols. And also energy is physically affected by shapes, which are symbols in three dimensions. And that is the power of sacred geometry. And so radionics practitioners have been studying how to capture, how to capture the essence, the spirit of the golden ratio in a beautiful, perfect symbol that can be used to produce harmony so that um, you clear the frequencies before you start your manifestation. It's like you hit the reboot button. 
And there have been a number of attempts to create a symbol that would be considered the perfect golden ratio symbol. In the 1930s, there was a Russian scientist, researcher, who created a symbol that many people know as the golden ratio antenna. Because the idea is when you look at this symbol, um, when you have this symbol around, it is harmonizing all of the energy around you. And if you get on the internet right now and you type in golden ratio antenna, you're going to see this symbol pop up that this Russian researcher came up with and used to heal people and all this kind of stuff in the 1930s. That's all over the net. But what you will not find, however, what you will not find on the net is a symbol that I gained access to about 20 years ago. I know this sounds a little vague, but I swear to God this is a true story. About 20 years ago, I became friends with a radionics mastermind who helped me understand a lot about all this stuff at that point in my life. And you know how you hear like when the student is ready, the master will appear. It was similar to that kind of thing, you know, because I was still pretty young and this guy had uh, a lot of experience and he he had a binder that was, oh, easily six inches thick, full of very, very weird, obscure knowledge that he had collected over the decades about radionics. And I got a copy of the whole damn thing. So 20 years ago, I'm flipping through and I, I turn a page and I see this symbol and the symbol just like went pop. It just, I could physically feel energy coming off the page and this was stronger than any energy i had ever felt coming from a symbol before it was just like like a it was like a spotlight just you know hit me from this page i said what the f and he goes yeah that he said that is the true golden ratio antenna and i said what i have no idea what you're talking about so he explained a lot of this golden ratio stuff and basically what he told me is that years ago there was a small private group of radionics practitioners who decided to take all the math that they could you know calculate and create the most specific detailed true representation of the golden ratio design and um, and put it into one condensed symbol and that this was it and that for a long time they'd kept it secret um, but that this you know they used it all the time and now all of a sudden you know it's it's sort of vaporized you can't find it anymore but I had this thing and you know what that's I, I swear that's all I know about this symbol. And if if you if you are listening to me right now and you know more about this symbol than I do, please tell me because you're going to be educating me after 20 years of not knowing what the hell this is all about. But I was so smitten with this that um, I printed it out and I started wearing it and my life started to just click okay it was harmonizing things things that would otherwise be chaotic it was harmonizing them i became so obsessed with this symbol i started you know i taped it on the wall over my bed so i'd sleep better at night um whenever people would come to me over the years and say something bad is happening to me something negative is going on I think there's a demon or all my luck is going to shit or whatever I would say let me give you this symbol and I would print this symbol out and I would give it to him and I would say keep this with you you know wear it tape it somewhere 
where you're around it, just being around this symbol, you can feel its energy. This is the true golden ratio antenna. And even then, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing, instead of just having a print out of this thing, to actually have it manufactured as a gold pendant, like in real gold, a, a highly conductive, you know, electrically conductive material, a great version of this thing. Wouldn't that be amazing? And for some reason, I just never pursued it. And... As the years passed on, um, I kept using the printed thing. And then when this pandemic hit uh, and a lot of stuff was being put on hold and everything, I, I sat down and I thought, you know, what are some things that I've had on the back burner for a while that I want to get to? Maybe you probably did the same thing. Maybe it was cleaning your house or maybe you painted a painting or sculpted something or I don't know. But I think a lot of us did at least one or two things that had been on the back burner. And I thought, oh yeah, you know what? I've always wanted to have that golden, the true golden ratio symbol made in true gold as a pendant. And so I started doing the research and sure enough, I, I found a place that would manufacture this for me and I had one made, one just for me. I wanted it to be, again, highly, physically highly conductive for electricity. I wanted it to be gold-plated stainless steel. And I got this thing, and when I opened the nice little black jewelry box that it came in, it was just, it was like somebody had turned on the Batman spotlight, you know, and it just... It, 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 it just sort of exploded out of the box. Just, there it was. The golden ratio in actual gold. So I took this out. I started wearing it. And now again, this is the pandemic. Everything's going to hell. It was almost like, okay, as soon as I put this on, I physically felt better. That's, that's one thing. And then after that, all this chaos that was going on in my own personal circles here just started to smooth out. I mean, within 24 hours, I had a big, big project. I signed a big contract. If you've kept up with this show, you hear me talking about the fact that I recently signed a big contract and some really big stuff was in the works and happening. And when this virus thing hit, I mean, it was so devastating uh that i thought this thing had crashed and burned and it was over with within 24 hours and this you know months i've been working on this project within 24 hours i received a a message saying guess what good news now this is the middle of the damn pandemic nothing good is happening good news this thing has gotten a, a green light here. It's rocketing forward. Like we're we're not only are you know we back on, but we're back on in a big ass way. You know, I had to take. And by the way, that was almost impossible. I figured that thing was long gone. I wish I could tell you more about what it was, but you know, you understand. Then, you know, I had to travel. And there were all kinds of things that could have gone wrong. On the contrary, things actually went better than I expected. Okay. Things went so well. Like, there were good things that happened that I didn't even know could happen that made it very, very smooth. That was a TV project, so... You know, I'll be telling you more about that when I have permission to talk about it. Um, you know, it was almost like, you know how you hear about people who have a, a charmed life? Like those lucky people? You say, oh, charmed life. And maybe you think, well, that could never be me. Well, I believe that when you wear 
this. It's suddenly like you're wearing ruby slippers and there are sparklies, you know, sparkles twinkling in the air. I mean, I swear it seems to morph the energy around you this way. It really does. And you know how when I talk about using the Ho'oponopono, I say that when you use the Ho'oponopono, what you're doing is you're clearing your brain. You're clearing a lot of the baggage and a lot of the garbage out. Well, I believe that that's what happens for your for your physical and spiritual field when you are wearing the golden ratio antenna pendant that's actually made of real gold. I think it's like hitting a reset button and it clears everything out. And so now when I'm about to use any manifestation technique, whether it is wishing machines or wands or the prayer board or pendulums or potions or what potions, whatever it is, I first make sure I'm wearing this pendant and I sit there and I take some deep breaths and I feel everything around me just harmonize and click into place. And, you know, it's like, for example, um, a lot of people right now obviously are freaking out because they don't have enough money because we've all been on lockdown and many people have not been allowed to make an honest dollar over at least the past couple months. And, I, you know, I was, I was reading, um, actually I was listening to an audio book by one of my favorite authors named Joe Vitale. He has a book called Money Loves Speed. And he made an interesting point about the importance of sort of clearing your mind and your body and your energy and your spirit when you're trying to attract abundance and prosperity. Um, he was talking about this um, sort of metaphysical self-transformation author named Arnold Patton. And he said that Arnold Patton said, quote, we don't create abundance. We create limitations, end quote. Now, th I want you to think about that. I'm going to repeat it. We don't create abundance. We create limitations. So the implication there is that, look, abundance is all around you. It's just sitting there. But you, with your beliefs and your blockages and your doubts and your subconscious problems, you're creating obstacles that will not allow that abundance to flow to you. Vitaly goes on to say, the only reason you don't have the money you want right now is due to your beliefs. Change your beliefs, which are your limitations, and you can re-enter the zone of abundance. So I think that's what happens when you say, you know, you use the Ho'oponopono, when you use a clearing tool like the Golden Ratio Antenna. And you know what, you, you can wear this thing under your shirt. I tend to wear it outside my shirt just because it makes me feel like it's having a more direct influence on all the energy around me. It's very, very classy looking. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's stylish. You could wear it when you're going casual or you're going dressy. I mean, it doesn't matter. And I think that, you know, like you do your Ho'oponopono mentally, you've got the golden ratio antenna necklace there. It's, it's harmonizing all of this energy around you as a clearing tool, a reset button. And it's funny because there may be some of you out there saying, Oh gosh, I can't afford to buy anything new right now. And you know, if you feel that way, fine. I'm not, I mean, I'm not here to try to convince you to buy something if you cannot afford it. But what I will tell you is that there is a whole philosophy about buying something that you want if you can afford it. Because if you actually can afford it, and you're telling yourself, well, I can't afford it. Well, why are you doing that? That's stupid. You are creating a counter intention. You're creating a sabotaging, like you're, you're it's a self sabotaging 
intention. Because if you have listened to anything I've ever said about sympathetic resonance and how I think all this works in magic and manifestation, what you send out comes back to you. So if you actually have the money to get one of these, you should do it because doing that shows that you are embracing abundance, that you're having faith. And when you send that abundance out there, guess what's going to come back to you? Abundance. But if you have the money and you're like, well, I have it, but I'm worried uh, that maybe I, I won't be able. Well, guess what? That's what's going to come back to you. So again, I, you know, I, I, people contact me sometimes and they say, I would like to buy something from you, but I don't think I can afford it. And I say, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. And I, I have tons of free stuff on the internet that you can enjoy. Tons of free stuff. I've spent decades. I, you know what? I, I built my first website in 1998. I've been a member of eBay since 1998, and I have a 100% positive feedback rating on eBay from 1998, from many, many transactions. And I tell you this because I've put a, just, I've put a shitload of free, valuable information and content out there on the internet. I'm not asking anybody to buy anything from me. What I'm saying is, I made this for me. And if you want it, I'm giving you an opportunity to get it. So if you can't afford it, don't be afraid. Get it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Not to mention the fact that it comes with the 100% money back guarantee. I don't need this money. I've done very well. I love this process of producing cool stuff like this and sharing it with you because what, I mean, like what's the excitement and money if you're not doing something cool with it? And that's what excites me is putting stuff out there like this and seeing how it helps other people. And I really do believe it's just going to be a positive thing. You know, there's going to come a day, hate to say it, when suddenly you hit the dirt, right? You die. And uh, who knows how that's going to happen, but, uh, you know, you're, you're all of a sudden you're going to realize I'm a big lump of dead flesh and I can't even move my body. And that'll be the last thing that goes through your mind. Oh, I wish I could say this. I wish I could do that. And then you're gone. I believe in good karma. I believe in putting things out there that might help people. And that's why I have had a great experience with this. And so now for the next seven days you're going to have the opportunity to get one of these things so i hope that explains to you really what the golden ratio is and why this particular golden ratio antenna design is so significant and important so here's how this is going to work if you over the next seven days get the golden ratio antenna like the true golden ratio antenna pendant from me uh, at the end of that seven day period I'm going to take the orders that I have uh, the website's going to disappear and then I'm going to put in the order have these things made they're going to send them all to me then I'm going to add in some little goodies for you it comes with a 20 inch chain which is really nice but I like stuff that hangs a little lower on me just because of my size. I'm 6'2 and everything. So you'll get that chain. But also, I put mine on a 39-inch satin cord. So it hangs around my neck and it's right around my solar plexus. So I'm going to include, just as a bonus for you, um, you know, you'll get the chain, but you'll also get this 39 inch satin cord. You're also going to receive an information sheet that I wrote that sort of recaps all this stuff <laughs> best you can do in a sheet. Um, and I I'm signing every single one of these. So you'll get a personal you know, autograph if that helps to authenticate this at some point in, in the future or whatever. So you'll get that. Uh, so, so you'll get the, uh, the pendant and a nice black jewelry box 
with the um, 20 inch chain also I'm going to add in the uh, 39 inch cord that you can you know adjust to whatever you like the satin cord you're going to get the information sheet signed by me but then as the ultimate free bonus whenever I know that you know you're gonna buy something from me and you have to wait a little while for the order to get filled I like for you to have something in the meantime that you can think about and so I contacted my friend Timothy Green Beckley who publishes some of the most fascinating books in the entire world and I was telling him what I'm up to and I said Man, you know what? I'd love to give everybody something instant through email, like a really good, high-quality product instantly when they buy this thing. And he goes, ah, I think I got something for you. He published this book. Got the information right here in front of me. It's called Hidden Treasures of the Knights Templar. Now, think about this. Throughout the centuries, sacred geometry and special symbols have been used to secure some of the greatest secrets and access some of the world's most valuable treasures. And we're talking about treasures of both spirit and gold. And who mastered that? Yeah, the Knights Templar. This book, Hidden Treasures of the Knights Templar, is subtitled Secrets of Rins Le Chateau, Roslyn Chapel, Oak Island, and the Masonic Order. It's 290 pages long, packed with information, with great photos and illustrations. So guess what? When you purchase this, you will instantly receive an automated email. So be sure to put your authentic email address in there. You will instantly receive an email that gives you a link to this ebook as a free bonus gift, 290 pages long, Hidden Treasures of the Knights Templar. See, I'm taking care of you. I'm all about quality. I'm all about reputation here. So you get the golden ratio antenna pendant in the nice jewelry box. You get a 20 inch chain. You get the 40 inch cord. You get the information sheet personally signed by me, and you get your free bonus Hidden Treasures of the Knights Templar ebook. How's that for a kick ass bundle? Hmm? And then, as soon as I get these things back, I'll turn around and send them out to you. Uh, and, you know, if you're in another country, you know, give me a little time. It might be 30 days. I mean, it might be a little longer because, you know, your country's customs sometimes we send it to some countries and um, honestly they just say well, you can't have magical stuff here and they send it back that, on, that has happened especially in the Middle East um, just today I was talking to Lauren and I, I brought up um, a list we, we were talking about like all the countries I've sold stuff to and uh, Lauren got on to um, the software and she printed up a list of just some of the countries that we've sold things to I have it in front of me listen to this okay so this is no bullshit I'm just gonna go through some of these Argentina Australia Austria Belgium Brazil Canada China Colombia Costa Rica Cyprus Czech Republic Denmark Estonia France Germany Greece Hong Kong India, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Jordan, Kuwait, Latvia, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Maldives, Mauritius, Mexico, Netherlands, Netherlands Antilles, New Zealand, Nigeria, Norway, Oman, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, St. Lucia, Singapore, Slovenia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, Trinidad and Tobago, Turks and Caicos, United Arab Emirates, UK, of course the United States, uh, Vietnam. Listen guys, I sell this stuff all over the world. All over the world. And th that's one of the great things about these manifestation devices as I've told you before. It doesn't matter what country you're from, what culture you're, you're from, what your cultural background is. 
this is a, a universal constant, a universal law that we're tapping into and it applies equally to everyone. So if you would like to get one of these pendants, and I'm gonna stop taking orders around June 2nd, I guess. That's when all this stuff is gonna disappear. Here is what you have to do, okay? I'm not listing this in my curiosity shop or anywhere else. So if you want to purchase this, here is how you find the purchase web page. I've hidden a little Easter egg for you. You go to joshuapwarren.com. There's no period after the P. Go to joshuapwarren.com. You do indeed click the link to the Curiosity Shop. But once you do that, you scroll to the bottom of the page. And if this offer is still valid, you will see a little symbol at the bottom. Just a little symbol. And it looks like the one that we're talking about. It is the little symbol of the true golden ratio antenna. If you see that there and it is clickable, then that will take you to the purchase page. And that's it. So this again is a special thing just for you, hardcore supporters, fans, experimenters. You know, I'm just doing something that I did for myself that I'm now offering to you. So for those of you who get it, I know you're going to love this thing. And uh, feel free to share it with anybody you want. For the, for the seven day period, anybody can get it. There's no limit on how many. We can we can make as many as we want during that seven day period. But then at, at the end of that, I'm going to stop it because I've got a very busy year, believe it or not. I have a lot of other things going on and um, I'm just not ready to add a new regular product to my Curiosity uh, shop page. There will be some other stuff later in the year that I will uh, probably add. But this is a very special thing. So again, joshuapwarren.com, go to the Curiosity Shop, scroll to the bottom of the page. If the symbol is there and it's clickable, then you'll be able to either buy it or not buy it, and the page will tell you. So anywho, that's it. I hope that this has been, uh, aside from just a commercial, also a really interesting educational presentation to help you understand what sacred geometry and ratios and the golden ratio is all about because once you understand that certain shapes manipulate energy in a very physical way as I said it can give you a new set of eyes because suddenly you can start looking around yourself you look at your house you look at various buildings you walk outside, you look at trees, you look at rocks, you look at mountains, and you start thinking about them in terms of sacred geometry and how the, the shape is influencing the energy, whether it's mechanical, vibrational, electromagnetic, electrostatic. There's a relationship between all those things, and you can almost overlay an energy map on the physical map because you are understanding how the physical form and the physical shape of things changes the energy around them. And if you go, if you really are able to start imagining things that way, then you will have transcended and taken your senses to the next level so that when you're trying to understand paranormal phenomena and mysterious things and work with energy, whether it's feng shui type stuff or whatever, you will be able to suddenly see that this is not just about some bullshit subjective opinion. There actually is a physical layout that enhances the way that energy does or does not flow. And it sure as heck applies to metaphysical and paranormal um, phenomena and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, Glad that you have hopefully learned something and stuck with me and enjoyed this podcast. Share it, please. Even if you don't plan to buy anything, that's cool. That's all right. Share it with all your friends and your family and your loved ones and say, you know what? You ought to give this show a listen. You know why? Because 
There's a lot of crap out there. I don't have to tell you. You know, there's a lot of crap out there. This show, I do my best to always bring you good, genuine content. And that's because I'm just a genuinely curious person. So if you go to joshuapwarren.com, be sure to sign up for my free e-newsletter there. It takes you two seconds. And when you do that, I'll be able to contact you directly and immediately when new things like this become available. I also give away free money sometimes, and you know that's true as well. When you're at joshuapwarren.com, click around, enjoy all the cool stuff. Go to the curiosity shop, see things there you won't find anywhere else. But be sure that you click the link to this podcast. It's called Joshua P. Warren Daily. It's always short, always free. It's commercial free, uncensored, independent And when you click that link, you'll find that you can subscribe through various means on various platforms, or you can just follow me on Twitter, at Joshua P. Warren, at Joshua P. Warren. And I usually tweet when a new one is available. So that is it for today's podcast. And uh, soon I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Knights Templar. I think I'll do that in my next podcast. Should be pretty kick-ass. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your interest and support. Thank you for staying curious. And I will talk to you again soon.